Welcome back to my channel, all you odd historians. So today we'll be exploring five gruesome Roman torture techniques. I do have to warn you guys that this list is not suitable for a squeamish audience or underage. Please, viewer's discretion is advised. With that said, let's get into the video. The Romans did not consider homosexuality demeaning as long as they were doing the penetrating acts. But the Roman military took it to a different level by indulging in an act called irumatio on prisoners of war. After being defeated, an enemy soldier was subjected to a painful process called dentifragibus, in which a dental physician was called to remove all the teeth of an enemy soldier until his mouth had no teeth left. The work was obviously barbaric and cruel since no anesthesia was used to remove the teeth, leading to a very painful experience. The physician would remove the teeth with a hammer and clean up the blood with a sponge. The next step after this brutal act is really insane and perverted. The Roman soldiers would then have oral sex with the toothless soldier as a way to break their morale. Orgies are also not uncommon as the soldier would be subjected to both oral and anal sex. One thing is known for sure, Romans did love their sex no matter how crude or brutal it was. Another torture technique that was absolutely morbid was the donkey trap. A donkey would be slaughtered, sliced open, and the intestines would be removed. The prisoner was then stripped of their clothing and stuffed into the animal's belly. The stomach was stitched closed, leaving only the accused head outside preventing suffocation but prolonging suffering. The donkey's body was kept in the sun to rot. It would begin to decompose with the living victim inside being cooked by the heat. Maggots would crawl all over the accused and vultures would peck at the animal's decaying flesh. Death was brutally slow and a terrible way to die. Described by St. Gregory, this torture technique was performed on young women. Any virgin who was to undergo this torture was first given to gladiators to rape. After the young woman was no longer a virgin, she was stripped and her stomach was sliced open, spilling her intestines out. Handfuls of barley were stuffed into her and she was sewn back up only to be given to wild hogs. She would then be torn apart by said animals. One of the most disgusting tortures performed involved smearing a Christian in honey and milk. The victim was then nailed into a barrel and force-fed parasite-ridden food. These parasites would then feast on the insides of the victim, whose body began to rot inside the barrel. After about two weeks of this torture, the victim would finally die. For this torture technique, an animal was used such as a rat, dog, or a cat. They would be placed inside a small cauldron that was fastened to the stomach of the victim. The executioner would hold the flame to the back of the cauldron, making the inside extremely hot. This would cause the animal to panic and try to escape. But the only way the animal could escape would be through the stomach of the victim. This would cause the animal to eat through the skin and flesh of the accused to escape the heat. As you can imagine, this was extremely gruesome and cruel. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the comments, let me know what you want me to do next. Thank you guys. I'll see you next video.